In the previous video, we have created marker and road helper scripts. Now it's time to prepare our prefabs for the road. So let's go to our prefabs and road in our project section. And we are going to start from the street straight. So let's open up this prefab by double tapping on it. And we can see that this is our prefab. And what we are going to do here is we are going to add two markers to this road straight. So our agent will know that from whichever side it is coming, it will want to go towards this marker instead of the center of our game object. So let's right click on the street straight, street empty. Let's call it marker underscore 01, for example. And we are going to use in the inspector this tag select icon. And we are going to use, exam for example, this red icon for the tag. And we are going to maybe the center on the Y axis using the scene view. And we are going to move this marker somewhere here. We can see that this is about 0.376 on, in our transform. So let's set it to 0.35. And we can duplicate this marker using the hierarchy control D. Change the name to marker 02. Let's change in the, the Z parameter in the transform to be minus 0.325 and we have our marker. We can change its icon so we can we know which marker is it by checking the next for a color, for example, in the select icon. So this will be pink. Okay, let's choose the, y, uh, the X axis in the scene view. Let's focus on X axis. We can see that our markers are a little below the terrain or the, the street. So let's select both of those in the hierarchy and let's slide them up. So now we have those two markers ready. I have forgotten to add the marker script. So let's add marker script. And both of those will be open for connections and both of those will not have adjacent markers. So let's add the, to the second marker again, the marker script and set it to be open for connections. Next, we will need to select the street uh, straight prefab and add to it road helper component because here we are going to set uh, add pedestrian markers so let's add both of those markers here okay this is not a corner or it doesn't have crosswalks so let's save it and we can actually copy those two markers Control c and let's in the project section again in the prefabs road let's choose the dead end street double tap on it okay and let's paste here our markers and we have our markers preset here so what we can do now is add another marker by ctrl d duplicating one of those markers change the name to be marker 03 so, so f2 to change the name 03 let's change its icon to be next color so maybe this gray one let's reset its position to be 000 and i think we are moving on the x axis okay so on the X axis, let's set it to be minus 0.35. It should be good. So now we have the markers ready, but here we have the connections between those markers. So our marker three will be connected. So we'll have adjacent markers as marker two and marker one. So we are going to drag it onto the list and it is closed for connection. Marker two will have connection to marker three, but it's still open for connections. Marker 1 we have, will have connection to marker 3, but it's still open for connections. Now let's add to the street dead end a road helper. Let's drag all, all our markers to the pedestrian markers section. And we are going to make sure uh, that we do not set the east corner or has crosswalk. And that's it. Let's save it. Let's select all of those markers. Let's Ctrl C to copy them. And let's go to our street curve. Okay, let's paste those markers here. And you can see that it doesn't fit. So let's delete the third marker. And let's focus on Y axis. Great. Marker one, we can drag it around here. And marker, marker two, we can drag around here. So pretty close to the road, but no, not too close. And now our adjacent markers are missing marker. So let's set the array of adjacent markers to 0 for 1 and for 2 because they do not have any connected markers and you can set the uh, position on x to be something like 04 and 04 for the first marker and for the second we have 
0 0.2 so 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 so it should be good setup for our markers and again we can reset the y value if we want to we can drag it a bit higher okay i'm going to set the the view in the scene to be orthographic by clicking the right uh, text and i'm going to drag it a bit higher and that's it so let's make sure that we add to our street curve a road helper and let's make sure that we drag our marker 01 and 02 to our list of pedestrian markers and make sure that you set its corner let's finish uh, creating the street four way in three way so let's move to the four way at uh, this pop-up let's cl click save and paste those markers that you have copied beforehand to your street four way and this should be much easier because we are going to now let's enter the x uh, y axis let's drag our uh, our markers on uh, the corners of our street where there are uh, sidewalks let's copy one of those markers duplicate d and drag it to the last position okay and we are going to rename it to marker 04 and let's change the icon to be the next color so maybe blue okay now if you are lucky then you have already preset the neighbors of it so marker 04 has already adjacent markers as 2 and 1 and marker 3 also have 2 and 1 and it is correct so let's set the marker 2 the adjacent markers are 3 and 4 and for marker 1 again the adjacent markers are 3 and 4 make sure you do not add more than necessary markers here because you might add uh, one more marker here so again add marker 04 and it will be added so make sure you avoid that and all of those markers are opened for connections so make sure you have those checked on marker uh, 1 2 3 and 4 and now let's add to the street four way a root helper let's drag our markers to the ped pedestrian markers and make sure that you uh, check there has crosswalks and what we can do is copy those four markers, Control C, go to the three way, save the prefab, paste it, and it is all preset for you. So last thing we will need to do is add the road helper and drag all the markers here. And again, check the has crosswalks to true. And this will be all for the setup for our markers. So check has crosswalks, Control S to save it, and we have our prefabs for the road preset ready. So in the next video, we will finish off the road helper script so we are able to calculate the closest marker and I will explain how do we do it for the corner and how do we do it for the crosswalk. So see you in the next video.